says, Vamelech Shloimoi, Ohav Noshim Nochriyos Rabois. And the Torah tells us that the he, Le'e Zikna Shloimoi, that when Shloma Melech became of age, Noshov Hitus Levovoi. In fact, he fell in, that his wives did turn his heart away, turned his heart, Achrei Elohim Achirim, Lehoi Levovoi Shloim, Ema Hashem Elikov. And his heart was no longer complete with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. <clears throat> So we have to understand how the Shaykh, the Posey, clearly said by Melech Yisrael, Le'yar Belenoshim, is not allowed to have many wives because of the concern of Le'yosu Levovoi. And here Shlom HaMelech was over. So the Gemara clearly in Sanhedrin, Dav Chofalev, from the Beis, the Gemara tells us, because Shlom HaMelech said, being that the Torah gave the reason, Tari gave the reason why because the concern was that the wives will influence him. Shlom HaMelech said, I'm strong enough. Shlom HaMelech said, Ani arbe I know myself. I know my tchunas anefesh. I know that no women, no matter how many wives that I have, will able to influence me against HaKadri Baruch Hu. And therefore Shlom HaMelech thought, that he will be able to be Mar ben Oshim and still remain the strong Oved Hashem that he was. However, it turns out that Shlom HaMelech made a mistake. And it turns out that Lebesoyev, that in fact that the Potsik says that the Noshim hit to us Lvovoy. They did turn his heart away from HaKadri Baruch Hu. And Mamele, we have to really understand how the child that Shlom HaMelech made a mistake in his Tchunas Sanefesh. Shlom HaMelech was a Chocha Mikol Shomelech was the wisest person. So how did Shaykh, he was such a chocham and he did not even know himself? Shomelech said, I'm not concerned, I'm not worried. <clears throat> I'm strong enough. <clears throat> I know my koiches. I am able to contend even with many, many wives. And I will not turn astray. At the end he did. He made a mistake. <clears throat> so the question is again, Shomelech being the chocham and kolodom, how did he make a mistake in evaluating himself, he did not even know his koiches, Shlom HaMelech, the Chochem HaKolodom. A similar question. <clears throat> Find the Gemara in Shabbos, the Aftid Beis, Oman Beis. Very well known Gemara. The Gemara tells us, we know Chazal made Gzeire, La Yikra Lor Aner. On Shabbos Friday night, a person is not allowed to read or learn by the light of a candle. Those days a candle was not made out of wax, but rather was an oil lamp. And the reason a person is not allowed to learn Chazal Medik in front of an oil lamp, Chazal Yishem Yate, that maybe in case the light of the wick dims, he'll come to dip it into the oil in order to repair it. And he'll be over a Moloch and the So Chazal said, because of Xera, that you may come to adjust, adjust the flame, Lo Yate, Chazal said, that what the Likra Lor on there, you want to make sure that Layati is not going to come to Avera of repairing the Nair. The Gemara says, I'm not worried about Elisha. Shwan Elisha says, I'm not worried about myself. I'm the Ekra of Layati. I know that I'm strong enough. I'm not worried about the Xera. I will read Friday night in front of a Nair. I'm going to learn in front of a Nair. Because I'm not worried about Shemayate. I know myself. The Xera doesn't apply to me. What happened? So he said, Pamachas Koro. One stake he was learning in front of an air. And the Gemara says, Ubikesh Lahato. He said, Mamish Mamish, he was ready to be mate. The last second, the last moment, he refrained. But he was almost Mamish Nichshul. Omar, so then he says, Kamer Gedoylem Tiver Chachomen. Now I see how great are the words of the Chachomen that made Xere, Shoy Oimrim Lo Yikre Lo Yoran Air. Because I saw that even myself, I thought it would not happen to me. And it almost, almost, mamish happened. I was spared by the nick of time. So I see when the Chomim make Xerah, how right they are. As a matter of fact, from Nosen Oimer, Korah the Hito, he was Nechshul. There's another version of Isa. It's even worse, not that he almost was Nechshul. According to Nosen, mamish was Nechshul. And the male, he also, we have to ask Akasha. So he says, now I know, Kama Gedolim Divrecha Chomim. And the question is, till now, did he not really believe that the words of the Chachomim are great? Now I know, till now he was not mamin in the great words of the Chachomim. How do we understand that? 
So if you take a look in the Sefer Mishulchan with Elio Baruch from the Belly of Baruch, the Baruch, the Baruch, the Baruch, the the Baruch, the Baruch, the Baruch, the Baruch, the 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 Baruch, the Baruch, the 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 Melech said, and the Yavim, I am able to take many, many lives. Nothing is going to happen to me. At the end, he was Nechshel. Question is, how is it from a Melech, Chochem and did not realize his matzav, his situation? And Rabban Kotl says that Ben Eshlom Melech did not really make a mistake regarding himself. In other words, from a Melech, Mitzad is Chochmo, Mitzad his Hakora, recognizing his Chunas Anefesh. Mitzad HaTeva, Avada, Navada, Shlom HaMelech would never be Nechshel. So Mitzad the Cheshboinez that Shlom HaMelech made, said Rabban, that he's different, that he's very strong, he knew his Tchunas HaNefesh, Mitzad HaTeva Take, Shlom HaMelech's Cheshbon was correct, he would not be Nechshel. But the very fact that the Torah says, Lo Yarbe, Lo Inoshim, Lo Yosul, Lo Vovoy, the Torah creates a new Metzies. The Torah says that if you do take many wives, you will be Nechshel. Which means that although his natural teva would be not to be nichshul, that was what Shlomo Melech knew, and he was right. That Mitzvah's natural teva would not be nichshul. But the fact that the Torah says, if you do this and this, you are going to become nichshul, so that created a new Mitzvah, that this is the way it's going to be. Rabban quotes the mimer of the Zora Kodesh. Istakel by Raisu Boral, because Baruch created the world, and he looked into the Torah. <clears throat> the Torah is the blueprint of the world. And therefore, whatever is written in the Torah, that becomes the Messias of the world. And Amela, even though Shloim Amela Betzim did not make a mistake in his Teva Digi Koiches, did not make a mistake, and he knew that his Yetzirah would not be able to overpower him, but he did not know this secret that once it's written in the Torah, Mamela, you cannot spare yourself, no matter how strong you are. Because the fact that it's written in the Torah, the Torah creates a new Messias. This is what's pointed out. Baron Kotler. <clears throat> and the truth is something similar we find that the Chazoinish taught us. In the Sefer Emunah B'Tochen. We find that the Torah tells us, Ki ha-shoychad ya'aver ene pikchim b'sal of divrit tzadikim. Which means is that if a chochom takes bribery, Mamel is going to blind his eye. Now the truth is that many people will tie in Listen, just because I took a dollar or five or ten or fifteen... Well, my side can still be objective, he might say. I know myself, I'm not influenced by money. Said the Chazanish, even though you might be right that Bader Chateva, money is not going to influence you. Maybe you're right. But the very fact that the Torah said that if you take Shaykhat, you're going to be blinded, that now becomes the Messias. So therefore, no matter how smart you might be, no matter how great a Pekech you might be, and could be talking inside your Tchunas and Efesh, Mitzad Hateva, the money is not going to influence you. So he gave you a couple of dollars, but the money says you're committed to the truth. You're not going to be influenced. That could not be b'der chateva. But the mere fact that the Torah says that if you take shoychad, a shoychad ya'avr ene chachomim, that becomes now the mitzvahs. So it doesn't make a difference what your natural teva is. Taking shoychad creates a naya mitzvahs based upon what the Torah said that's going to blind you. Mamela, the same thing is regarding Rabbi Shmuel. Question was, once the Chachomim said, the question is, did not Rabbi Shmuel believe in the words of the Chachomim? How did he make a mistake thinking that he's strong enough not to be Nechshel when we see that later on the fact that he was Nechshel? How did he make such a mistake? And here the answer is again. The truth is Rabbi Shmuel Lamaise did not really make a mistake in his koiches. Because the Yerushimayim of Rabbi Shmuel was like so great there would not be B'metzias that he would be Nechshel and Shemayate. In other words, by Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Isai, every Shabbos would be like our Yom Kippur. Because it's interesting to note, a very interesting haloche in Arachayim, Simon Reisha, in Hei Siv Ches, that on Yom Kippur night, a person is allowed to read Lo'or on there. Can learn, can look into a machzer. On Yom Kippur night, we're not Chosh Shemayate. Why? Because Amos Yom Kippur Olof. Because the Pachet of Yom Kippur is upon him. So you see, when there is true Yerushimayim, we're not, we're not Gezer. Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Yisai, his Yerushimayim on a regular Shabbos, like with our Yom Kippur. If by us Yom Kippur we have no Gezer of Shemayate, so Rabbi Shmuel also, Mitzarateva, as Yerushimayim was so strong on a regular Shabbos, 
that we would not have to worry about Shemayate. But being that the Chachomim made Exeru, and the Chachomim said, don't do this because of Shemayate, that itself was Goyrim, that if you violate it, you're going to be over. Give me Nechshel. That's the Koyach of the words of the Chachomim. In the Amistak, Yerubel Yiborah points out, and he says, it comes out, that Bishmoy Lamaisa Mesaratzmoy understood his Yerushimayim is strong enough not to be Nechshel. But he thought, right, he thought that being that he is so stark, why did he not learn from Shloim Melech that even if you're very strong, but if the Torah tells you that if you do this, you're going to be Nechshel, you're going to be Nechshel. Why did he not learn from Shloim Melech that your own Chachma does not apply to Kenegad Torah? Why did he not learn from Shloim Melech? You don't look at your personal belief in your strength. When you see that Shloim Melech was Nechshel, why did he not learn from Shloim Melech? Rebel Yibarach says very beautifully, he says, Shlom HaMelech, there's no raya from Shlom HaMelech. Shlom HaMelech was over and he said, Deraise, lo yabel enoshim. Bishmol understood that once the Torah writes something, that becomes a Matthias. The Torah said, lo yabel enoshim, because lo yosu lovovoi. So therefore Shlom HaMelech was nichshul, even though Metzarat Samoy had all the koiches. But the fact was written in the Torah that if you do this, if you're marb enoshim, they will be mate lovovoi, that's what happened. Shmuel did not understand that the Chachomim also changed the Metzias. That he didn't understand. Shmuel Mamelech Avade, he was over on something that the Torah wrote. So Shmuel, of course, understands once the Torah writes something, that becomes a Metzias. If you can be Mar Ben Oshim, you're going to be Nechshel. But he did not realize that Xerod Rabbonin has also such a Gevaldi Gekoyach. That if the Chachomim say, don't do this because you're going to be Nechshel, that that's going to change the Metzias. That he didn't realize. Later on, when he found out but in fact that he was almost Nechshel, or according to the other gears so that he was Nechshel, Till now from Shloim HaMelech I understood how great the words of the Torah is. When the Torah says something good, I understood that's the Metzis, that's Kaveya. That becomes now truth. That becomes fact. But I didn't realize that the Chachomim also changed the Metzis of the situation. He learned from himself that he almost was Nechshel, even though B'derech HaTeva he was right. His Yerushimai would be strong enough to overpower the Yitzhar. B'derech HaTeva he would not Shemayate, would not be Oivran Shemayate. But the fact that the Chachomim said not to do it because you will be, that changed the Metzius, and therefore he also was Nechshel. That's the Gavaldi Yisoy that we find out. So there is a Limud for all of us over here, Rabbi Yisai. And that, in fact, the Limud of that is that Whenever the Chachomim say something, that even though to the eye in a head yet, even though to the posture the eye of a regular person, it appears that the time of the Isser is bottle, that doesn't apply. For example, let's take a case of the Isser of Yichud. Chazal said that a person is not allowed to seclude himself about it with a woman. There is of Yichud. There are different levels of Yichud. There's Yichud the Raisa, there's Yichud the Rabbonon. And there is an issue of Yichud that a person is not allowed to have Yichud even with an old, old woman. She's 95 years old. There's an issue of Yichud. So a person will rationalize and say, I don't have to worry, an old woman, a woman of 95 years old. What should be a problem of Yichud? What can happen? Nothing can happen. Right? A man having Yichud with an old, old woman. Sir Bel he says, True, but there chateva. There would not be a Yitzhahara for a person to be nichshel with a woman who was very old. But the fact that Chazal made a and he said there is an Isra of Yichud, so that now changes the Metzias, which means that if you're over on the Isra of Yichud, that itself can be going to be choyte. It's a half of a fellow. We see the Gevaldi Gekoyach, the Gevaldi Gekoyach of, of Dibre Chachomen. And that's what we have to learn out. Never to underestimate the power even of the words of the Chachomen, because when somebody's mezalzel in the words of the Chachomen, Imamish creates a new Metzias. A Moshe would be, a Moshe will somebody is Mezalzal on Shabbos and a Isr Mukse Drabonon. Yeah, it's only a Drabonon. So what if I move Mukse from one place to another? When I tell you it's not a problem, it's a Mukse is only Drabonon. You have to realize, says Rebel Yubaruch, that the same way if somebody is Machal Shabbos with an Isr Deraise, so a male it's Poigim in the person. It's Poigim in the person, it's Mashpia, right? A careerist in the whole union of Amunah. Because Shabbos is the Isoy to Amunah. The person Machal Shabbos, so Melet causes a shvachkeit in his amunah. The fact you're Machal Shabbos, the same thing if you're Machal Shabbos with an Isra Drabonon, let's say of Muktzah, that's a Hefzah of Chilu Shabbos, that's also Poygim 
in the amuna that a person would have. His amuna now became weakened. His amuna became shvacha. And therefore we conclude with Mamish and Givart that being that Rabban, Rabban Kotl, the Vach, was machadish to us, <coughs> that when the Torah says something, so that itself now creates a new Metzius, Rabban might have been very happy to see that many years before him, <coughs> we find that the Shin Yavaruf, the Kroin of Rocha, <coughs> the son of the Divre Chaim, <coughs> the Savior Divre Yecheskel, where he has in the Chelik, where he is Mefarish, the Chelik Hua Godois, because Divre Yecheskel has in the Parches Ashvua, then it has various Perushim on Agodos Chazal. So we have him in Sech Tishabas, for example, Daf Kuf Mem Omed Beis, right? Where the Gemara says over there, Omer Av Katine, Ho Oymed Be'emtza Hamitov, somebody stands in the middle of a bed of a woman, he stands in the middle of a bed, Ki Ilu Oymed Be'kre So Shalisho. In other words, like standing on the stomach of a woman. In other words, it gives a person impure thoughts, just standing on the middle of the bed. So the Gemara says, Lav milsehi. It's not true. In other words, if you stand on the bed, just because it belongs to a woman, standing on the middle of the bed is not a problem. So the Divri Cheskel asks, Lechoyer, always we know that when it comes to these inyonim of Machshobis, Rois, and Hirhurim, Roim, we always machmer. Why is here that Rav Kitina says there is a problem of hearer? A person should not be standing Bem Tzahamito. And the Gemara says, Lav milsehi. All of a sudden we're making this inyon. Why is that so? <coughs> so the Vicheska said the following Yesoid. We know when it comes to the Indian of Agunas, Chazal were very makel, extra coolest, in order to allow a woman to get married, believing Takya that her husband is no longer alive. Atkedekach, that the Choma were Mesakin, that even an Evid or an Isha, that normally are postulatus, a woman is postulatus, an Evid is postulatus, if an Evid or a woman come to be made, that the husband died, she can get married. The Gabe Edus Isha to allow an Aguna to get married. The Chomim accepted even the Edus of an Evid or an Isha, and even Eid Mipi Eid. An Eid who heard from another Eid. That's called hearsay. For Edus Isha, it's believed. So, on one hand, we see the Chomim went out of their way to be Mekel when it comes to Aguna, to be matter of woman, to be able to get married. Yet, in one area, in the case of Agunas, they were very, very Machmer. And that is the Gemara Yavamas Daf Kuf Chafala from Aralev. The Gemara says that if someone fell into an ocean, it's a maim she'ein lehem soif. It's a water that has no ending, like an ocean. It continues on miles and miles and miles. That's called maim she'ein lehem soif. If a person fell into an ocean, if you don't find the body, we can't assume that he's dead. She can't get married. Even though Bader Chatever, a boy said, if somebody falls into an ocean and does not come up anywhere, we can safely assume Bader Chatever, this person is no longer alive. And yet the Chomen did not allow the woman to get married until you find the body. Because we're concerned that maybe he's still alive. Why were they so machmer? A person falls into a Mayim Shainlam so if you fall into a vast ocean, you're concerned maybe he's still alive. All of a sudden they're machmer, he's alive, she can't get married. And yet we accept the Adis of a woman, we accept the Adis of an Evid. We're very makel when it comes to the Indian of Agunas. Why by Mayim Shainlam so if falling into an ocean, the Chomen said... She's also to get married until you find the body. Because maybe he's still alive. Maybe he's still alive, falling into an ocean. Does that make sense? The Vyacheska very beautifully. You're right. If a person falls into an ocean, Mistam is not alive. He can't live. How's a Shaykh? He properly is dead. Most likely he's dead. Came the Chachomim in Sera Halochet. That if somebody falls into a Maim Shemim, so he falls into a never ending ocean. The woman cannot get married. Why? Because maybe he's still alive. By the Chachomim making aloha that maybe he's still alive, it means that now they created a chance that a person can survive even falling into an ocean. The Rina Chachom made that aloha because they wanted to save lives. But their Chateva, somebody falls into an ocean, cannot live. That's their Chateva. How's it going to lie? How, how, unless a nest happens of some sort. Pungtep is a board was floating by. And he happened to grab onto, uh, onto the board. Something very, very unlikely. But there, Chateva, somebody falls into an ocean. A Mayim Shem Masar cannot live. But now that the Chachomim made a halochet, that an Aguna cannot get married if her husband falls into an ocean, because maybe he's alive, the Chachom now created a Metzius, that a nest could happen. That is the koyach of the words of the Chachom Rabbi. So says the Divrech And that, in fact, again, is what Rabbi is saying. 
And that's what we learn from Shlomo Melech and also from Shmuel ben Elisha. Because Baruch should give the Siyat Dishmaye. We should be able to follow the words of the Torah and to realize and to understand Kamagidoyim Dever Chachomim. Bez Hashem will be Zoichet to all of the Brachas and words of Torah. Rachyom and Bimin and Bismoyla Shvechovet. And this Chayri Bez Hashem shall be Taka the Chayri of Prop Rachonim for the Yemadim. Shall be Zoichet for Aksiv Aksiv Metoyva Meher Bimin. Amen.